Hello, I'm Tom Merritt, host of Daily Tech News Show, Sword and Laser, Cord Killers, Current Geek, and many others. And today, we are going to engage in one of what I hope to be a series of debates about the important issues of our day. I'll invite a special guest to join us to take the other side of the issue from me, but the topic at hand for us to debate today is Han shot first. Now, there's no doubt that Han shot first. That's not what we're going to debate today. Han did shoot first in the early version. It was not simultaneous, and he arguably shot simultaneously, or possibly second, depending on what special edition you look at and your point of view, and that's what this is about, whether that matters. To me, Han shooting first or not didn't ruin my childhood, it didn't change my appreciation for Star Wars, and it really doesn't even disrupt that scene. They're shooting, Greedo dies, spoiler alert, that's the end. However, my special guest here disagrees with me. Yeah, it matters. Han shot first. I mean, <laughs> good, bad, and the ugly, somehow it doesn't matter if all three of them are pointing guns at each other, right? No, it matters. It matters what happens when someone shoots. If Han shoots first, it shows us something about Han. It shows us that he has the gumption to, to do what it takes. And that's important when you have this innocent Luke Skywalker and this old wizened Obi-Wan Kenobi to have a rogue, you know, a chaotic good involved here. So yes, it does matter. And changing that changes the story. It undermines the story and makes it less impactful. Thank you for that. I understand where you're coming from. I do understand that there is an element to Han that is roguish, as, as you put it, chaotic good. That is important as a counterpoint, but whether he shot first is not essential to Han Solo's character. Han Solo is already roguish. We already know this because he's a smuggler, and we're going to see plenty of other ways, stronger ways, as the movie unfolds, why he is that so-called chaotic good. So him shooting at all, him killing, is what shows whether he's a rogue or not, not whether he shot first. If he was a primarily good character, he might have just run away rather than shooting Greedo, right? No, he kills Greedo. He's a killer. It doesn't matter whether he shot first or not. That's some apologist bullshit right there. I mean, we need to know Han at that moment and changing it so that he's only in self-defense weakens the setup. Yeah, we're going to find out all kinds of things about Han Solo later, but it's all going to be in light of this first meeting where at worst he calls Obi-Wan Kenobi an old man, right? Seeing him take the initiative to say, I will shoot first, I will defend myself, I will not wait, is going to be telling when he rushes into a crowd of stormtroopers, when, when he decides to take off with the money, because he's impulsive and you know that. If Han only defends himself, well, he's just another good guy, just another brown shirt in the rebellion, and it's not surprising at all when he shows up at the end. I don't say, I don't see how you can say it's not surprising at all when he shows up at the end, simply because Han didn't shoot first. These are practically simultaneous shots. I guarantee that most people, if they didn't know there was a change, and, and it might be hard to find people like that now to do a scientific test, but if you showed them these clips and said, what's different? I don't think most people would be able to tell. They're like, no, he threatened him, he killed him. That's the end. That's the upshot of this scene, and the order of events is, is just something people looking to have an argument are going to pick on. All right, I know I only get three of the rounds because you're trying to suppress me, whatever, like I get you get your formats, uh, but yeah, no, it does matter, and I'm not just looking for an argument. You wouldn't even have a show if I wasn't looking for an argument. I'm trying to preserve the filmic intent of one of the greatest works listed as one of the top 20 films of all time. You know, you don't see people going back into Citizen Kane and Godfather and messing around with it, and those elements matter in stories this important. The rest of my case. Well, there you have it, folks. It's up for you to decide whether Han shot first mattered or didn't. Thank you to my special guest for joining us today. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.